Joy starts winding wash at House of Feeder Body Care and Spa for 20 days. As you can see, it's very instant. You can see now it's peeling off, and this is December period. So, your instant body wash, your whitening instant body wash, it's very, very effective. Just for 20 days, the result is instant at House of Feeder Body Care and Spa. Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? It's so pain enough now. Just come to us and feed that body can start. We get this done for you. At 30,000 naira. Can you see? What's new guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know you've seen this video of this Nigerian woman getting this quote unquote instant whitening body wash at a spa. And I just decided to do a really quick reaction to this video and also give my opinion and also select a few comments on social media, Twitter and Instagram, and then you know let you guys go through it and also um just you know talk about this video in general so here is this woman at a spa um being given this service the first thing that struck me is that she's in a bath with some sort of chemical the second thing is that it was actually being administered by a fellow nigerian woman now before we get to the bad part of this video the downsides and all the negatives i'm going to just quickly say that the attendant or the person who filmed this video said that the procedure cost 30,000 naira here in nigeria obviously it's here in nigeria and then from what we've seen is actually one of the latest forms of skin bleaching so here's this woman in a bath filled with what looks to be some sort of acid and it's clearly taking off you know the top layer of her skin which is absolutely the, mo the most protective part of her skin and then another thing that i noticed in this video is that her ankles are like quite black you guys know like the difference between bleached part of your skin and you know some parts of your body like your ankles your elbows your knuckles and things like that so it made me wonder if you know she was actually going to get like a full body wash if the entirety of her body was going to be as white as this part being scooped out with a spoon and then i also wondered if the lady who was receiving the treatment was not concerned about the side effects of this treatment although we've come to realize that people actually do whatever they claim to need to do to get the skin they desire to have through bleaching so I'm going to go ahead and read some of the comments that people dropped after seeing this video on different social media. And then um, I'll let you guys also leave your comments in the section below. This person says, you know of heart failure, kidney failure, liver failure. There's also skin failure, losing electrolytes and protein with foreign material entering your body from the bad skin. Continue bleaching and peeling your skin. That's even bonanza because it's December period. Now it's no longer news that there are more negative effects of skin bleaching than there are positive effects and from this procedure this lady is having right now we can see that she's clearly taking off you know the top layer of her skin which is supposed to be the most protective part and leaving the underneath layer susceptible to all kinds of damage now we live in a country that's extremely hot we have extremely harsh weather and it actually bothers me because i i just wonder how she expects to move around you know with the top layer of her skin off how she expects to move around and with how raw this is it's actually more detrimental than it is beneficial to her Next comment says, this is stupidity defined. She'll never look like a white woman, so what's the point here? If being white denotes beauty, then no one would shun real white women for a wannabe white woman. Beauty shines in all skin colors. African women must shun the stupidity of skin bleaching, and I couldn't agree more.
The next one says, and this is December period. Exactly, guys. That's actually what also caught my attention. The person who did the voiceover for this video actually said, this is December period, meaning that this is the period during which people should actually rush this procedure, you know, so they won't le be left behind so they can get, you know, the best skin bleaching treatment there is. You can also go ahead and see the rest of the comments people left on Twitter under this one video from one person's post to this person's post was a Proco doctor. Another person said, I really wish to see the finished look and me too. She should be in a reality TV show. Let's keep up with her downward spiraling health. And that's actually inevitable. Now, the thing is, it's been known that a lot of Nigerian women are, you know, involved in skin bleaching, you know, trying to get their skin lighter. And from research and from proven fact, Nigerian women are about uh, make up about 70% of the world's population that engage in skin bleaching activities and it's also said that Nigeria is like the prime destination for many skin whitening products and you know before this after the entire analysis of African countries who actually engage in um, skin bleaching activities was you know brought forward it was discovered that Ghana, Ivory Coast and Rwanda have banned all whitening products. Nigeria, however, banned those with harmful chemicals. Now, looking at this procedure, there is no way you will tell me that there is no harmful chemical in this. Because, I mean, this is like an acid that is basically taking off the first layer of your skin. That can be harmless. Guys, no matter what anyone tells me, that can be harmless. So for the next comment on Twitter, I have this person saying that this is the equivalent to, to having a first degree burn. Just imagine what people do for beauty. Then what about the possibility of skin cancer in the future? Da -da -da -da. Ladies, day your day so you can live long enough to visit your grandchildren. The person says when the natural defense system is compromised, susceptibility to infections is eminent and inevitable. And this is the same point that we keep hammering upon. That you know, because we live in an extremely harsh um, weather with extremely harsh climate and you know pollution in the air, especially those living in fact all over Nigeria. So I think that this is a situation of people just trying to do the most. And I keep saying in 2019, there really isn't any pressure like people trying to like pressure you into getting your skin bleached you know we are now enlightened up to the point where we no longer force people to do things they don't want to do so i also checked out another website that published this video and they said that for dark skinned women who desire to look like mulattoes a new form of bleaching has been discovered they also went ahead to give their opinions and then the the page our talk show on instagram also posted the video and you know people still kept on commenting saying she was prone to having cancer saying she was definitely not coming out of this one like in good condition and i actually agree although i think for a spa to actually offer this as a treatment they must have you know given the the customer some kind of orientation you know telling her of what exactly this procedure is about and then making her understand that for this procedure, there must be some sort of follow-up skincare routine that she needs to follow to make sure her skin is healthy afterward. Because I'm most definitely certain that there is no way she can have a procedure like this without backup treatment. So I'm not here to judge, but I'm sure that there are steps and procedures to follow even after this for her skin to still be in good and excellent condition. I mean, I'm not here to judge, but I most definitely do not recommend skin bleaching for anyone at all. I mean, anyone. Moving on, um, we can see from this published site that, like they said, like I said, 70 million people in Nigeria use skin lightening products regularly, making Africa's most populous country the capital for skin bleaching. This one we know is being proven, and then some women reject the trend. I mean, I'm also pro black, that's pro walking your normal, your natural skin. And then one of the reasons people say they actually bleach their skin is to gain more acceptance. I mean, even outside of Nigeria and worldwide, it has been proven somewhat that people who actually bleach their skin that's people who are lighter skin tend to be favored in some industries like the acting industry nollywood hollywood etc they also tend to be more successful in the music business and just in whatever kind of business they tend to venture into
especially the skincare business so all in all from this video like i said this is actually like a chemical bath obviously a chemical bath and we are quite aware that um a lot of these skin bleaching products actually contain chemicals which are generally harmful and i also think that in spite of the fact that nigeria has disallowed products that contain harmful substances in terms of skincare and beauty most of these products still contain harmful substances because i mean people are still getting like a lot of bad reactions on their skin a lot of negative reactions and still just generally breaking out and you know just having really nasty skin from them so that's about it guys thank you so much for watching this video please let me know in the comment section what you think about this routine this procedure and you know just the entire skin lightening bath or body wash or whatever thing and also just drop your opinions on skin bleaching in the comment section